pressure from the edge. And down he goes, Jeff Coat. Under pressure, Jeff Coat gets to him again. When you're that athletic and that fast, it's hard to move the football. You walk through these doors and, and you are Jackson Jeff Coat and you are put up as one of the greats to play here at the University of Texas. Does that hit you? Going undrafted sometimes to me makes me forget about all of this. Fair. Sometimes I'm like, was I really that good? And then I'm like, well, you know what? Let's look at the stats. Let's look at what I did in college. That's more important than thinking about the draft. When I look back at it, it is special to be seen as one of the greats here and to be an All-American here. The recent loss of Greg Robinson, what did he mean to you in your career? Greg Robinson was special to me. He came in here when we were not doing too well. He commanded respect from everybody. He helped a lot of people to go to the NFL, to be better people, to be a better version of themselves. I think that, that's what's special about him. I want to also ask you about the football team in Sark. What do you think about the direction he's taking this program on? Well, I'm fortunate enough to get to meet Sark. We talked about CFL ball. You showed him the Great Cup, right? Got to show him the Great Cup. It was a lot of fun. I want Texas to be successful. Any way that I can help support our team, I want to be able to do that. I think that we're heading in the right direction and people just need to be patient and enjoy the process and cheer on our Longhorns. Knocked out of his hands by Jackson Jeffco. When you get up there, you're in the CFL, What's your mentality? Are you more like, I'm going to do this and then show the NFL what I'm all about? Or are you already embracing it, viewing it as something I'm going to do long term? It was more, I'm going to go up there and dominate this league and uh, in a humble way and then prove to these people that I'm good enough to be in the NFL. I was playing well as a rookie in the CFL. No one called. So I put another good year together for my second year. One team hit me up. So I went and worked out with the Bengals. It was fun to just be able to do that. But then I think that's when I started realizing that CFL was probably gonna be home. And that was starting to become the thing that I embraced, being the best that I could be and where I'm at. What does it mean to you to have your own path and to know that you're doing things the Jackson Jeffcoat way? Well, it's special. You think about with my father playing in the NFL. Everybody expected me to go to the NFL and be great in the NFL. I had some bumpy roads. I had some adversity, and I think it's made me better. I've been able to go and play in the CFL and enjoy it and learn things in a new country that I might not have learned if I didn't go to the CFL. And it's over! Back to back Winnipeg, Grey Cup champions 2021. You got some, some bling there. <laughs> what are we looking at on the finger? This is uh, the first Grey Cup that we won, 2019 Grey Cup ring. We haven't got our 2021 rings yet. It was made by the same people that made the Toronto Raptors ring. It's a special ring. It's got my number and last name. It was a 107th Grey Cup. Our team motto, fit in or forfeit opportunity. That's kind of what we live by. What does your dad think about everything, your path, your journey? He's proud. He said he's very proud of me. He loves that I'm doing my own thing, that I'm not trying to be him. He used to tell me, uh, and this meant a lot to me, and it actually helped change my mindset. He said, you're not Jim Jeffcoat. You're Jackson Jeffcoat. Your path is going to be different than mine. You shouldn't want it in any other way. And I took that to heart and realize like, let me create my own path. Let me do my own thing and be happy with what's going on. No matter if there's hard times, embracing them and learning to get through them, it helped a lot. Seems like you're in a really good spot in your life right now. Is that fair to say? <laughs> yes, I am. I am. I guess two great cups, having great little pups, great family, great friends, living in Austin, Texas. I guess that helps. <laughs>